Well, let's look at the front pages. The Daily Guide this morning says Nana meets Pan African MPs. Jomoro MP hot over dual citizenship. Oche Hene gives State Housing Corporation 200 acres of land, and MP gets 2 million Ghana cities bill for 2.4 million fraud. The Daily Graphic. Improving street lighting, energy ministry, GSA to rescue, government reviews tax exemption regime, parliament poised to pass pending bills, speaker assures, and no matter where, I'd, I know they, uh, well, okay, so that's uh, on the back page. Care to hospital gathering dust and Nadmo commiserates with family. You know what's happened someplace in the Ashanti region. Ghanaian Times, Ghana Health Service extends COVID-19 vaccination to Friday. 275,000 so far received a second jab. I'm told I'm billed for tomorrow, so I'll go and take my second jab. Upper East Region records 1,639 teenage pregnancies in first quarter, and we're 16 days away from the National Tree Planting Day. Also, Child Rights International partners the National Chief Imam to fight child abuse, and they had conducted a research in that area, and they thought that, well, they had to meet uh, the creme de la creme to have a conversation about to see how they shape it. Bright up here. Good morning to you. Eight policemen allegedly extort 38,000 cities from drivers. And also, Nadmo urges Ghanaians to prepare for heavy rains in June and August. The Finder newspaper. Board awaits Bank of Ghana to report to act on the ARB Apex Bank. Tor unveils plan to clear $400 million debt to turn around refinery. And Tia's group to help Ghana buy the share of the $55 million, a billion dollars global starch market. Government to raise $1 billion sustainable bonds to finance education, infrastructure, other social and environmental projects. And that's on the front page there. Finally, on the front page of the BNFT, banks declare readiness to support businesses despite the changing huge resources into government bills and also respond quickly to government stimulus package and loans will come. Fidelity Bank CEO tells businesses. My guest this morning, lawyer Godwin Eduji Kujo Tamaklo. He is a member of the NDC's legal and communication team. He joins me in studio here. Also, a former member of parliament for the Lejokuku constituency. He's also a former deputy minister. Wondering why he has not been uh, appointed yet. Anyway, maybe you will tell us. Dr. Bernard Okoboy, uh, the people call him Lejokuku Jay-Z. He likes to wear African bow tie. Yeah. Tell me, welcome. Good morning. How are you doing? Good morning. Doc, okay. I haven't seen you in many years. I've seen a Duji. I saw a Duji last week. But I haven't seen you. Where have you been hiding? You know, the, those in opposition try to be visible aggressively. Okay. That's why you've seen the Duji. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So today I'm here. So today you're here. <laughs> I listened to your conversation with Giovanni uh, yeah. on the 3FM drive. You're a good sport. Yeah, you know, I, I, I like sports. Okay. Uh, sports, uh, there are health benefits mm. that are mental benefits. There are benefits that help to shape you. So mm. um, I do lawn tennis, football, basketball, soccer. That's a big, wins. big, big man game. Yeah. yeah. It's only swimming that I've not, uh, in fact, I oh, tried. Oh, you boy, you, you don't know how to swim. Uh, swimming in the sea is different from in the lake <laughs> and also in the swimming pool. <laughs> Drowning was the thing. But, but there are two things that you said in that interview that I, I enjoyed. Number one, you are asking for government communicators not to be combative yes. with those who say fix it. Yeah. Because you say, well, the, the people believed that the government can fix it, which is why they put them there. So Absolutely. it's a reminder for them to fix it. Absolutely. And then number two, you say what? Uh, you believe the president will put you somewhere? Yeah, so, I mean, I have, uh, I have uh, absolute confidence in the leadership. Mm. Because is, people are asking why you have not been appointed. Excellent, president. But you know, uh, he started politics, I'm sure, before I was born. Mm. And people who are elderly and have been an activist for many years, they can, like they say in a camp, mm -hmm. what they can see while sitting. Okay. You can be on the treetop and not see. Okay. But I, I know that the president likes to harness energies and skills to uh, push the overall mm. agenda. Mm. And there are many uh, places to operate from in terms of saving the right. So uh, I think we have to be patient with him. Uh, mm. he has, uh, he's still making, putting mm. uh, up names and all that. And I believe that 
I'll get to serve. Service is the most important. Right, I see. It doesn't matter where you are put. Mm. You just have to make sure you write in the corner. You lost right? the elections, you are still constructing toilets. Are you not hurt? Uh, the good thing is that there is joy in service. Okay, but you are not hurt. Uh, no, no, absolutely. I mean, you can, you can. Be, the word is you can be disappointed, meaning you expected this, it didn't happen. Okay. But once you remember that there is joy in service, mm, mm. you must find a place to serve. I so see. I always try to get a project to uh, keep me going, get a program to impact mm, lives, mm. and when you get to your room in the evening, you're happy because someone else is happy. I see. So That's today you go to Lekman and do locum. Yeah, usually today I, is Wednesday. Yeah, yeah, usually I, like, I want to come I like for free medicals today. So, uh, as for yours, we'll do it here. <laughs> <laughs> Council, good morning. Yes, Your man has lost the election. He's still good constructing toilets and cleaning gutters in his constituency. Well, good morning to Doc. I think uh, our first uh, interaction after the election. Mm. Uh, but before then, uh, let me wish uh, a very special person uh, okay. happy birthday. That's the Honorable Member of Parliament for Crouchy West, mm. the Honorable Helena Joa in Tuso. Okay. Um, I wish you the very best mm. for the day. Uh, I'm sure um, <coughs> you have become a blessing to humanity, mm. largely. And so once again, happy birthday. All right. Um, All right. Having said this, um, I have heard from very high place that mm -hmm. uh, that's the incoming NHIS boss. Oh, okay. You have inside information. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I see. From where? Very, very highly. You know. So, I. But you are not a journalist, so you can tell us your source. No, no, no. I'm equally <laughs> placed under oath <laughs> to protect my source. So. Oh, I see. So, 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 you have to your your village NHIS people. You, you need to, to make to you need to, to make peace with him. Oh, good boy. Okay. If not. Once they delay disbursement to your area, you know so you are in trouble. Most of the position tend to have more information. More information than those in power. No, but this information is conk. Okay. So very soon, when you see the CEO list, mm. and you see, in fact, I have been, you know, informed that the you see the president had indicated that if you don't win your seat, mm -hmm. the possibility of being a minister or deputy, mm. and you know, in the current architecture in parliament where it is 137 137 plus one exactly the president is also minded not to bring many people from the legislature into government because you know like it is mm -hmm. if today he makes you minister and you are mp and you travel mm -hmm. already you are shot by one mm -hmm. if there is government business mm -hmm. already it means that it will be torpedoed so the current form where the MPP, in terms of parliamentary performance, mm -hmm. that's where the president had been put in this very difficult uh, situation. Right. And, and so we can only keep praying for our brother, uh, Oko. But, but he's a good material. I mean, So that uh, eventually mm -hmm. when he gets the CEO of NHIS, the usual delay would uh, stop. You, you sound very confident about this uh, NHIS thing. Oh, no, I mean, very you, confident. You know what you're saying? Very confident. OK. Well, because uh, the masses have been asking, when is Okubo getting an appointment? When is he getting? Very, very confident. Because the, the, his inclusion in the fight maybe, against COVID-19. Maybe, COVID maybe, maybe. Mm -hmm. I, I, I don't know, very confident. And you know, he's a close confidant of the president oh. as well. <laughs> <laughs> Let's move to the He's next. putting words inside your... <laughs> yes, <laughs> we should move on, eh? Yes, yes, yes. OK. Uh, your thoughts and comments as always welcome. And uh, we will be happy to share. Yesterday, I saw something about uh, sirens. Mm -hmm. And for the umpteenth time, we are putting up a notice to suggest that there are categories of people who cannot use sirens. For example, the uh, information we're getting is that no sirens for the following persons. One, regional ministers and deputy regional ministers. Two, ministers and deputy ministers. Three, CEOs of government agencies. So if Okoboy becomes CEO of uh, the NHIS, he will not have to use sirens. Metropolitan, municipal, and district chief executives, that's MMDCs, and officials of the presidency, unless otherwise designated. Oko, you have been a deputy minister before. The abuse of sirens, and particularly when there's heavy traffic, you see people, sometimes they're going to eat or pick their children from school, or it's an empty vehicle. You don't know what's happening. There's noise everywhere. What do you say? Is this going to work this time around? 
Well, I I appreciate the um, concerns of those who uh, actually complain mm -hmm. or about the use or abuse. I think the word is abuse of sirens. Um, to be very honest with you, there are many occasions where um, an officer of the of the state, mm -hmm. uh, be executive or legislature, mm -hmm. might have to be at two, three, four places to execute, I mean, government work. Mm -hmm. And honestly, sometimes if you go by the usual traffic situation, you miss out. Mm. You know, I remember as deputy, even as deputy minister, sometimes you have to be at Coconut Group for a program. Mm. At the same time, in two hours' time or in an hour's time, you are built for a program at, let's say, Legon. Mm. And then from Legon, you might have to come to Labadi Beach. Yes, the, the um, how do call, arrangement is that you have to apply or write for a motor, mm. uh, motor escort. Motor kid, yeah. Motor motor kid. Escort. Mm. yeah. So that it can help you to get to where you are. But because of the numbers mm -hmm. of operatives in government, because of the numbers of ministers, deputies, because of the number, I mean, the bikes are limited. Mm. So sometimes that's where you are, you find yourself using the siren in the vehicle. Mm. I mean, if it is found out that someone is using a siren, let's say the minister is not in the car, or it's just, uh, like you said, going to eat lunch somewhere mm -hmm. and all that. I mean, that is clear abuse. Mm. It's, 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 you know, it's, it's quite, uh, I appreciate, like I said, I appreciate the concerns because sometimes people feel like, well, why not be in the traffic with us? Right. So that you appreciate some of the problems the we are having as a city, mm. so you work on it. That is a fair and genuine comment. But on the other hand, here you are, the same people who might be complaining. Let's say you're a lawyer. Mm -hmm. Your legal uh, uh, association has invited attorney general. Mm -hmm. This same attorney general has to be, let's say, in a meeting at Jubilee House. If he doesn't come for your meeting, mm -hmm. he comes one hour late. All those in the association go like, okay, now that's an attorney general. When we invite him, he will mm. come. Well, should wake up early. <laughs> no, 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 you don't get it. That can be a meeting in the afternoon. Okay. No, we have to be fair in as much as we have a point in complaining that we should mm. all be in the same suit. Mm. It's fair to speak to the real, the real situation. But, but the attorney general has two deputies. The health minister has two deputies. At least every minister I know has a deputy or two. Oh, so uh, it, it, see, delegate power. Um, um, Johnny, mm. Accra, Ghana is not Accra. Okay. Don't forget. Mm. I mean, Ghana is not Accra. Agree. So that if you have a health minister mm. who is inspecting projects or is on a program in Ashanti region, Let's say you have two deputies. Fine. It's not every ministry that has two deputies. But let's oh. take AG as a classical example. Okay. Where he, I mean, the attorney general himself is the one, and because AG is here, that's why. Mm -hmm. And I'm saying this so that we, those who are complaining, sometimes they call it perspectives. Mm. You see, in a conflict situation, you want to look at all angles. Right. So that you don't fall in the situation where you are looking at only one side. Mm. Imagine that you are. Let's say a doctor, mm -hmm. Ghana America. I remember the last time I had that experience where I was in a meeting mm -hmm. at Coconut Group and GMA was having a meeting at uh, Labadi Beach. Mm -hmm. And because I know that I belong to that fraternity, not showing up can have many interpretations. Right. That, oh, this guy thinks that now he's there, we've invited him. And it was being zoomed across the group. Mm -hmm. So, luckily for me, just when I got there, they, I think they were on the last item, they were just about to pray. Wow. And the MC was like, okay, he told us he'll do whatever it takes to get there. And to be honest, it took a siren to get there. Together. And so, so we, we appreciate what is happening. Maybe what we have to do is to analyze the situation, see how government operatives, mm. both executive, legislature, anyone who's doing something critical for government, how they can be assisted mm. to get to be multitasking okay. in the midst of the traffic situation mm. we have. I appreciate Okay. Uh, the, and Ka I respect the, the directive. The directive yes. Council, so there's also the concern about citizens, private people abusing it. They go to Abosokan, they go to Kokompe, they go to uh, Nkrumah Circle, wherever it is, Swami Magazine, and they just ask them to fix the sirens for them without authorization. That is also there. And you find that because the cars are huge, some say the police fear big men. So once they see big man, tinted glass, four by four, siren coming, then he's gone. What do you say as a citizen? Uh, like uh, Doug pointed out, there are two sides to every coin. 
the people who tend to use. And mm -hmm. if you look at the story, it's more on abuse mm -hmm. because of the belief that there are instances where it becomes necessary mm -hmm. that an individual may have to get the aid of a siren mm -hmm. in order to move through traffic. I so, think the so, focus... So, so, sorry, the presidency's letter says don't use it if you don't have authorization for it. Good. So what it means is that if you have authorization, mm. you can use it. So what it means is that the use of siren in and of itself is not a bad thing. Right. It is about its abuse. Mm. And for instance, you're a minister, you have clothes from work, you are going home, and then you are using siren. The question therefore will be, what is so urgent about you going to the house? Mm if you cannot join all of us in traffic. Mm -hmm. But if it's the case that you are moving from the house to say to work, mm -hmm. and it has become urgent for you to move, mm -hmm. I don't see how the use of siren will be so bad. Mm -hmm. And so like I always maintain, in everything that we do, there is a need for moderation. Mm -hmm. That is what citizens are asking for. Mm -hmm. In fact, it has been suggested that, look, the minister CEOs and what have you, before becoming CEOs, were just like all of us. Yeah. And so it was a lifestyle that they were all you know, used to, being in the traffic. So suddenly, having become a minister or CEO, you now decide that, no, that's a privilege. Mm -hmm. That comes with the office. So permit me to use siren. If it is properly authorized, it should be fair enough. Mm. I do not think that this is a matter that we should uh, um, spend so much man hours on mm. because at the end, it's about the individual. If you are going mm. home, mm. why use siren? Mm. Someone jokingly said, to avoid this, he wants to make his car look more like an ambulance. So that, that one. <laughs> Is free for all at every time, you know. Yeah, conqua. Yeah, conqua. But there are instances that you can't help it, mm. but you use the siren. So let's all ensure that we moderate because sometimes it can be annoying. Mm. And I want to believe that the this directive is because of a certain public conversation. Yeah, yeah. And then the annoyance mm. that it comes with. That is why government, once again, is coming out with In fact, directive. initially, it had been a, a similar directive had been issued earlier, mm. where the IGP, in fact, wrote and uh, outlawed it and yeah. said, you can't use it if you don't have permission to, to do. You know, now people have even fixed it yeah. in their cars. On their, on their, on and, their and own. And some of them are private business people, private individuals, and they have it. I don't think Including that... Including assemblymen. We should assembly get to men. that point. They are honorable men. Assembly men. <laughs> they are honorable yeah. men. Assembly men so On the base of that, they, they are enjoying the privileges <laughs> that come. The privileges, <laughs> you know, he knows the assembly men <laughs> in his constituency. So they are, and, and, and you know, when you meet the assembly men, they call themselves honorable. That's right. They insist and, on it. No, 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 no. And they'll tell you that, look, we also went to a competitive election mm. and won. So we are honorable members of the, this the, There was an instance when Dr. Park said he was stuck in traffic at East Legon. Mm. They heard the sound of a siren. So they made way only for them to see a bola car. You know, Fantastic. Come, come through majestically. <laughs> Fantastic. <you know? laughs> no, but you see, when you are carrying waste, that's a state of emergency, <laughs> right? Uh -huh. Okay, did your light go off yesterday? Uh, the, the light went off five, six times around my area, and then it went off. Contrary to what we're told, that it will be 12 hours. Yeah. I slept in, in, in it up until this morning. Well, uh, I think it's, it's important to mention that <clears throat> the load shedding or the, this, uh, you know, some areas were given some schedule. Um, to a greater extent, I think it's limited to some parts of Accra. I mean, where I stay, mm. I mean, I'm... Uh, living along the bush road, Lejo mm. uh, the light situation has been very stable. You know, when people started complaining about being uh, the supply being ratted some few mm. is it months or weeks ago, mm -hmm. it was really true. I right. also experienced right. it. Right. But as I speak, I think mm. over the past few weeks, it's mm. been very stable. Mm. I didn't get experience any lighthouse. 
but I have seen some scheduling of power as a result of some works at some place in Accra. And I guess, Johnny, your area falls within mm. that place. The good news is that these scheduling is supposed to either be coming to an end or to end very soon. I have always told my colleagues in the MD, uh, MPP mm. that when the ordinary citizen is discerning and can tell mm -hmm. when power outage is moving from occasional to uh, a lifestyle. Right. So, it is whatever the reasons are, mm -hmm. once power goes off and on for a short time, the citizen can tell that it's very possible that it was due to some mm -hmm. technical or something. Mm -hmm. What we all don't want to happen, mm -hmm. which we work hard at, which the energy minister, uh, Dr. Napu and his team are working mm -hmm. at. Mm -hmm. You don't want some of these things to go beyond some period. Okay. Okay. Because immediately it goes beyond the period, no matter the, excuse, uh, the reasons we give, it becomes uh, difficult for people to hold. Mm -hmm. So I, I was very excited when I realized that after experiencing that uh, on, on off mm -hmm. for some few days and weeks. Oh, it's 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 temp to the seventeenth that was it. Yeah. It, it's it's got stabilized. Mm -hmm. And look, I know I have information and this I can share with you. One of the items at cabinet mm -hmm. which is put right at the top in terms of servicing and make sure it's taken care of is energy. In terms of when I, when it comes to prioritization. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Because look, energy is like a petrol for everything. Mm -hmm. In the hospital, I remember when you're in the hospital and the lights go off. Mm -hmm. You can't sit in the consulting room. When I was a chevy, you can't go to the theater. You go to maternity. Even women who are about to give birth are in trouble. Just yeah. when power goes off, everything goes everything. over. Yeah. The same thing applies to those who are in industry. It's even worse. Mm. So, um, Johnny, uh, mm -hmm. it's my prayer that within the shortest possible time, your experience would be like mine, where now mm. it's, it's, it's very uh, stable. Council, Doom is here, or Doom so. Uh, where would you put your bet? You know, the Chinese have a saying mm. that talk does not cook rice. Oh. Mm. If you are using uh, Apostle Safo's uh, rice cooker, when you talk, it will start cooking the rice. <laughs> <laughs> it, appears, uh, it, appears, it appears this government is watching a lot of the Apostle uh, Kudu Safo <laughs> <laughs> Or rice cooker. But you see, <laughs> This government had basically lost the plot. How? I mean, you see, in treating and dealing with citizens, there's always the question of candor. Mm. That you carry the citizens along so that they can appreciate mm -hmm. efforts that you are putting in place to resolve a daily problem. Now, this government has turned itself into a government of PR, mm. regrettable propaganda. And so we have gotten to a point where energy minister now comes out to say that doom CA or something. Doom doom CAC. CAC. Yeah. With the greatest respect, where you live, mm. have you seen Gridco engineers on your pylons in the night before? Have you seen that before? I don't answer questions, you know that. No, so that, that <laughs> is how they are running this country on propaganda and PR. Mm. What is the meaning of Doom CCA? As we speak, mm -hmm. ask yourself, the various energy intervention points, Ameri, is basically off. Mm. We power, which is supposed to generate about 300 megawatts, is doing less than 90 megawatts. So quite clearly, there is a four in generation. Because they said you had excess power, you didn't need... Can you imagine? And, 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 and look, <laughs> that is the unfortunate commentary from this government. One of these days, bring the energy minister. Let him show you the number of IPPs that have been cancelled and how much they have paid. What they don't know is that these uh, PPAs, mm -hmm. that the power purchase agreements, mm -hmm. are always signed with ECG. That's the off-taker. Now, when they sign, mm -hmm. it is only ECG that pays these 
for this power purchase agreement and the, the what they call the capacity charges, mm -hmm. ECG had presented their profit, their expenditure, and everything to the Energy Committee of Parliament. Mm. Go and find out if they have paid any such money to any uh, 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 IPP for abrogation mm -hmm. of uh, uh, PPA mm. and how much has been paid. So this government is basically just running on PR and sometimes blatant falsehood. Look, by the grace of the Almighty God, visionary John Mahama, what did he do? He brought you car power. He brought you a Mary. We have the Jacobson. We have a Mandy. All of these power plants were there. Just is to come and service them. When the government came, in 2018, Doc, the various energy sector players, mm -hmm. Gridco, ECG, and the rest, brought tariff proposals to P, uh, the PRLC. Mm -hmm. Now, and said, look, they needed to improve their working equipment, among other things. So, PRLC should agree to a certain tariff adjustment. Right. This government took a propaganda, whatever decision, and said, look, if the tariff is increased, we have 2020 election coming up. But 2018 and 2020. Can you imagine? That, so, but, but PRC determines no. the, oh. the tariffs. But the, the board is constituted by government. So government yeah. quickly came out and said they have absolved the tariff adjustment for 2018. Right, I remember that. And immediately they did that. Mm. Government PR and the hype men went out there saying, oh, government has absorbed the tariff adjustment. What they did is that the critical resources needed by ECG, mm -hmm. Gridco, to improve their facilities, they were denied. Johnny, do you know that Ameri uh, 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 Esla, mm. that our friend in the MPP called nuisance taxes, within four years gave this government 12 billion Ghana cities with the view that this 12 billion, they will invest in improving the various substations, the green coal lines, mm. among other things. But it, they was used, it was used to pay the IPPs. That's no, what, that's the that is why I'm asking you that government itself does not sign direct relationship with the IPPs. Okay. ECG becomes the obstacle. Mm. So if any payment had been made to any IP, uh, 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 independent IPP, power program, yeah. they should bring the records. But, because the Parliamentary Select Committee mm, on Energy, mm. these records are presented to them. But when they said it, when government said it, your side in Parliament didn't say anything. No, they did. It. And I have listened to uh, uh, John Jinapo, mm. the Honorable MP for Yape, Yape Kusogo, challenge this government that they will continue with this falsehood. They don't care. They have no respect for their citizenry. Because if not, like I asked you a very simple question. Have you seen great co-engineers in the night? Okay. When the light... Because my understanding of his commentary of Doom CAC mm. is that at the time the light is off, that's the time they need in order to be fixing right. pylons. For people and that's the explanation there, yeah. he gave. I said yesterday when you slept in the uh, in the dark, mm. which of the pylons did you see grid co engineers on? Okay. There is none. Okay. So oh. the, and, and the problem is simple. Mm. It's a generation sought for. And in the night, our demand goes up. Mm. Peak, and they peak don't hour. have the, uh, the, the enough power to supply households. And instead of meeting citizens and saying that look, we agree. We took a political decision in 2018 mm. that instead of allowing this tariff so that they will have the needed resources to maintain their equipment, to maintain their alliance among others, we took a political decision, having 2020 election in mind. And now we are having to under-recover okay. whatever it is that we've lost by way of the opportunity. And so that is what has taken us into this Thank you. mess. You have, and you instead, have of okay. uh, doc, instead of being truthful, instead of being truthful, you are not. Me. So, and then doing PR. Doc, I, I, I always make this argument that ECG came to us and told us it is because we are using the power to pay later, which is why they are unable to get money to solve the problems we now are complaining about. So they brought the new neurometers, which would mean that I would have to buy my power ahead. Yeah. They hold on to my money and they provide service. Yes. Yesterday, when my power went off, and sometimes you find some party people defending and say that, oh, your prepaid meter is finished and all of that. But yesterday, when the whole area went off, I doubt everybody's prepaid meter didn't have some credit. Yeah. So I have given you money yeah. ahead. That's the contract we have. Yeah. Yours is to provide power. 
Where yeah. is the power? Jenny, uh, let's be honest with ourselves. We all live in this country. Mm. The power situation we experienced, the Dumso era that we had under JM, mm. to be honest to ourselves, is not the situation we are living under now. Mm. I mean, we live in this country. I was also part of, we were here. <laughs> the, 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 the doom saw the lights off, you calling your colleagues to ask whether there's lights at the office, mm. you calling your wife at home to know whether the lights are on. We lived through this period for, I mean, for, for, for months. Mm. I mean, I think average two or three years. So the point I'm making is that, yes, we've had some on and off, but it is nowhere near what we experienced, and I'm not saying we should get there before we talk, mm. but we have to be fair to the facts. Now, number two, it is absolutely true that under JM, when we were having to do so, mm. it had to do with liquidity issues. Right. The capacity was enough to meet our demand, mm. but powering the plants, paying for the paying the IPPs to get the paying the gas suppliers, mm. West mm. Africa gas, and was a challenge. Okay. And I remember the CEO of West Africa Gas came to Ghana. Mm. And after meeting JM, he said at the Jubilee that now he's been assured that PRC will be told to increase tariffs. Right. So we'll have money to pay. Mm. Now, what Napo is doing, Dr. Opok Pope, mm. is what we have actually have to encourage of all public officers. Which when is, there is an issue, which is to come out and explain the PR we talked about. It's not their former kind of PR. You mm. know, they used to have propaganda office. <laughs> now they've made it the communications directed. Good morning to Sammy. Mm. A, a, a responsible minister mm. must come out and explain what is leading to a particular situation. Okay. And the minister has come to make us understand that it is not the case that we're having, uh, like we're having in the past, Mass, where yeah. it's liquidity challenges. Mm. This time, there are some connections that have to be made. Okay. You can't do them with. And, and he's the asking whether or not you see people on that. the pylons you know, when, when the light goes off. On the surface, it sounds very reasonable to ask that, I mean, to ask that question or to make the allegation that right. cannot be true. But you see, if you have works going on, mm -hmm. I mean, I'm not an energy expert, but I'm also trying to come from another perspective. Okay. If you have works going on during the day, mm. on a high tension, uh, how do you call it, line or something, mm. and the works is not over. You know, in the nights, a lot of the demand goes, everybody, when it comes to domestic, okay. you have a lot of uh, demand. Okay. If you've not finished the works on a particular line, mm. I will not be uh, surprised if because of the works you've not finished, mm. certain uh, there should be some shedding. But okay, yesterday the light was on yeah. up to like 6 15, 6 30, yeah. and then it started going on, off, on, off. No, no, on, and, off. and I think they've also so, told us that because of how old and the pressure on some of the lines, mm. when it gets to some level, they themselves they have to can shut down. go. Can okay, go. so, so Johnny, uh, 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 no, 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 let's 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 when you talk like that, you've got the power. When you talk like that, it's because you are starting from <laughs> how do they call it? Okay. A, a, a clean slate. They have mm. a name is in Greek or Latin. Mm. When you assume that everything is starting from a clean slate, mm. no issues. But there are legacy issues in the sector. Mm. John, when I talk legacy issues, you have a company that's operating with some inherited debts. Mm. So that what they take from you today is not necessarily you don't have all available for their operations mm. today. There are things they have to take care of. I, I remember yeah. that when the and president appointed Mr. Boache Jaco as energy minister in yeah. 2017, he said he had worked with the Bank of America yeah. and he was coming in to bring the needed capital, yeah. which was the problem no, at no, the no, time. I, mean, I, don't, I don't remember that the really? KPI has changed since Boache Jaco left, since see, Amehu came, since the, Dr. Matthew Popko Prempe came. I think, so the KPI remains the no, same. No, no, let me, I'll speak to one important policy or program introduced by Boache Jaco. But before I come there, look. This capacity charges issue. I mean, it's absolutely a fact. When your capacity as a country, your demand, sorry, is about, let's say, 3,000 megawatts. Mm. If you have, you put in place capacity, installed capacity of, let's say, about 5,000, it's even not, it's not on head of, mm. it's, it's normal. But, Johnny, if your capacity as a country is 3,000 megawatts, mm -hmm. and you've, you, have, you've, you do, inst you install capacity of about 10,000 megawatts, mm. about three times, or, and you're paying, for even those machines that you are not using in terms of power. Okay. Then at the end of the day, you end up 
putting a lot of pressure on your system. And let, this let, let's bring Cookie in. Sorry. Let's bring Cookie in. Okay. Cookie, oh, welcome. Right. How are you doing? I'm, you look I'm like well. a medical doctor in yes. a consulting room. I wanted room. to look like you this morning. Please, did, I beg did, you. My space. You don't be nice like that. <laughs> I want to reach my space. Okay. <laughs> so, <laughs> first few messages for Dr. Bernard Oko Boy. Mm. The fir yes. The first one says, um, he is such a humble and great leader. I have been following him for quite some time now, and I must say, Doc is one of a kind. May, may the good Lord bless him with much strength and wisdom to continue his good works in fixing the country. And that came from engineer Richmond Kwesi Awotre um, Nust Kumase. There's a question here that says, can the former deputy health minister tell us why a table hospital as a COVID treatment center has not been given the 50% package since June 2020? <laughs> Third message says, good morning, Johnny. Per the new normal, some meetings can be conducted via Zoom to save cost time and relievers of the nuisance caused by these sirens. Mark in Bulga sent yeah, in point. that one. Honorable local boy has no choice than to be very hopeful. He is a good material and should not be dumbed in the name of anything unless the appointing authority knows better than we do. I wish him well. And that came from Arai Hammond in Teshi. Good morning, Johnny. Please look at the back page of the Daily Graphic and ask Oko Boy why a fully furnished hospital <laughs> is left to rot. Could see from Ashaima yeah. sent in that one. Johnny, the directive for not using sirens is just for the media and the cameras. Look, just yesterday at the SDA at Delta Stretch, there was a lot of police cars passing with the sirens. I d deliberately blocked one private car that had a military guy sitting in it and they wished they had hit me, but I had my glasses rolled up. The law is just in the books. With the light out, with the, light out the little said the better. A rum in a dental sent in that one. Good morning, Johnny and team. It's heartwarming to hear that government intends to do something about this siren nuisance. The situation where everyone who has a V8 decides to bully the other road users must stop. Sometimes one cannot spot police officers on one can spot police officers on duty mm. saluting such lawbreakers when they are seen engaging in the act. I can only hope that this is not one of the empty directives that came from Sam in East Legon Hills. Good morning, Johnny. Please let Mr. Coboy know that just like the MPs, mm. the ordinary man sometimes needs to be in so many places within the same hour. Instead of finding excuses for the act, let us find better solutions to ease the traffic for all of us. For instance, if this country has a railway system working, we will not be talking about this traffic situation. Philip from Adar sent in that one. Last one says, good morning, Johnny. The mm. president's directive for CEOs, ministers, and MMDCs not to use sirens is a call in the right direction. Nanado has brought in uh, new development initiatives than any other government in the Fourth Republic. We can talk of free SHS, planting for food and jobs, NAPCO, among other things. So fix the country mantra must be reviewed. And that came from Adam Swale in Tamale. Thank you, Kukiti. Mm -hmm. uh, doc, so the get to hospital on the back page of the uh, daily graphic is gathering uh, yeah, dust. I think I just read that it was inaugurated in October 2020. Okay. Usually, so just some few months ago. Usually when you finish the hospital, mm. to operationalize it, there are a number of things you have to do okay. in terms of staff. There are two mechanisms that they normally use. Either they move if they used to have an old district hospital, mm. they can move all the staff from the old to the new. Right. But if it's the case, I don't know the exact situation, if it's the case that it's a they, new they didn't have a district hospital, then you have to virtually recruit okay. or move workers from other mm. facilities to the place. So um, I'll check. But there are a lot of unemployed nurses walking no, no, around uh, and doctors, uh, 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 lab although, technicians. No, no, you know, we are still giving clearance as we speak, even this year. We okay. are always employed. I mean, mm. every year. There are thousands of nurses that we give up. Okay. Are giving up you know, so, the Atebubu Hospital, they say, why haven't you given them their COVID 50%? <laughs> you, know, you promised them. I mean, I've taken At the time, time it was promised all, you were deputy all, minister. You know, although mm. I'm, not the, from a, I'm not the deputy minister, yeah. it's my government. So I still, you know, I'm still in contact with the ministry. So I, today I'm even supposed to pass there mm. and have one or two meetings. So I'll mention some of these okay. issues. But, but when it was promised you were deputy minister? No, no. I mean, the 50% policy, uh, policy is mm. not off the books. But I've explained before that it's not auto automated. Mm. Usually, they have to confirm that you've managed a, a COVID-19 case okay. as a team. Okay. So you can manage a, t a, a case in um, April. Mm. It doesn't mean that if you are paid in April, in May to automatically be paid 50%. Okay. There must There's be some vetting that goes exactly. on. Exactly. Okay. So that normally accounts for But some who does the vetting? Uh, I mean, that 
the hospital must submit it. Okay. The region will take a look before we also. I see. Identify. So before you get your money, it could be two, three months away. No, no. As for the fifty percent, is the is the tax exemption mm. that is across board to all health workers. Mm. Mm. That one, there is no vetting. Okay. But for the fifty percent, and you should understand, Johnny, if you are saying it's meant for those who are managed confirmed COVID mm -hmm. cases, mm -hmm. human beings naturally, if you are not careful, everybody would like to be in this category. Mm -hmm. So you try and make sure that uh, the payment is justified. And okay. then lastly, look, this sarin directly comes from Jubilee House. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's something that. The motive is absolutely well uh, intentioned, that we help to make sure that we all deal with each other fairly. Mm. The point I was making, my brother said we should find solutions for traffic. That is the way to go. Mm. We have to improve our traffic situation. And also, even we as a government or mm -hmm. a state mm -hmm. must sit down and look at how to assist public officers who are giving multiple assignments right. to get to their place. These are all things that we, we have look to at. discuss. Okay, yeah. so one of my friends uh, from the Ashanti region, Mr. Okwabi, says, uh, ask Dr. Boy when government will segregate the 2.5% earmarked NHIL for health uh, insurance only. Incoming uh, CEO. Oh, Maybe uh, you will take it on when, uh, <laughs> when it comes in. Uh, uh, Edugi, take but, a bite. So <clears throat> get, to, get to hospital is gathering dust. Um, inaugurated in you October know, 2020. I, I, I mean, the point is, once taxpayers' money has been invested in some of these facilities, it makes no sense that they are, you know, they are, they are put to where they are, put it to use. In fact, the last time there has been a conversation about mm. hospital beds. Once you have this hospital, I'm sure there are very good people of K2 and mm. other surrounding communities who have the opportunity. But let me quickly, mm. before um, um, your, your distance, look, we have a situation where government must be candid and must be forthcoming. You, you keep saying on, this. Yes, on the energy situation. Look, Johnny, you and I know that in the, during the day, most of us will leave for our offices. So in terms of demand mm. and power use, it tends to go down. Right. In the evening, we all have to put our lights on. Mm -hmm. And that is when you always see government coming out with all of this. Mm -hmm. And so this conversation that you are doing in order to CCA, cannot be true mm. because, like he pointed out, you've never seen anybody work in the night just to fix that. Mm. But he also explained part. that work may have started and no, may it, have not ended. No, so but if the, work started if, in the, on, no, if the work started during the day, mm. then the day should be off as well. It, it's simple logic. Okay. So the not no, no, no. So if the work started during the day, then the light should be Maybe off the during first the day and continue. It's, it's, it's not. I am telling you that yeah. this government simply failed mm. in ensuring that proper tariffs were agreed upon mm. because of politics, because they needed to win an election, mm. and so the problem. You, and you yeah. see, the mm. problem with the problem with electricity mm. is that, to make sure that if you fail, is, if you fail. Yeah. Mm -hmm. to improve upon the system. It will catch up but, with but you. But if, if they took that decision in 2018, that means that they started a campaign very early. <laughs> no, they saw ahead of time. Oh, and so quickly they had to. But yeah, more, more only, importantly, more importantly, see, mm -hmm. see, economy. Yeah. Our, brothers, our brothers keep talking about legacy debt. Mm -hmm. John Mahama knew this and so came out with Esla. John, uh, uh, my brother Doc here mm -hmm. will tell you, that in four years, because these records come per the ESLA Act, you need to brief Parliament every year. Mm -hmm. ESLA was giving this government three billion Ghana cities annually. Okay. What have they used that money for? Okay. They wasted it. Okay. Allow him. Four billion. Allow him. Allow him. Allow him. Wasted. Allow him. Allow him. So our time is up. Jeremy, so allow him to. The commitment to servicing this debt in the energy sector, mm. in fact, capacity. No, we have done don't confuse them. You should allow him, allow him. No, he's confusing What have you used the ESLA money for? Oh, Johnny, that's what I said. That there are debts, there are, there are legacy debts that are supposed to be serviced in the end. 12 billion. Mm -hmm. Capacity charges alone, we spend 12 billion on capacity no, charges. No, that's false. Okay. You know, so, Completely false. So these, these, are, completely these are matters. Okay. These, are, these are matters. Actually, no, when are they? No, but you let, let, let him respond today. We don't have time. Day, day, we don't have time at all. Because mm. he's the and he's saying, is the light stable or not? It's not. Largely, it's, like I said, at my place, it's stable. Okay. I also admit that at certain places like your place, there's no the way you are being said, we need to verify. Okay. <laughs> Oko Anyete in La says, uh, tell Oko Boy or ask Oko Boy that the people of La want to know the source of funding for the La General Hospital and its state at the moment. You can't.
can't pull <laughs> down. He says you can't pull down a functioning hospital and deny the people their health look, needs. Look, I work in La. Mm. It was a death trap. People should stop this propaganda. <laughs> the cracks. You are working the world, and then concrete slabs will fall down. Okay. This is a government that has been built. And by the way. Even but in it's parliament, been more than two years no, since no. you pulled it down. I mean, oh no, it's not. It's not. It's oh, not. It's been more than two years. It's been more than two years. No, no, no. How many years? I think it happened in 2020. Really? Yes, it happen in 2020. <laughs> no, 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 it didn't happen in 2020. No, no, no. I think it happened. It didn't happen in 2020. But see, the point is that okay. the Labadi, the La General Hospital, is a tanky project which has been approved by parliament with secure funding. Okay. So it's not those projects so that are. So what is stopping the project from taking off? You know that money even. Oh, the the the. There are motions. Allow him. There are motions. No, because now when you go there, you see rats. Yeah, the rats were. When, was, <laughs> when they were breaking down the hospital, the rats were there. It's the same issue with a coffee. Okay. They said the way you go there is grass cutting. No, but as we speak, that's when the they, state of affairs. No. no, but that's uh, the state of affairs. Now. Anyway, thank you very much. <laughs> Dr. Bernard Okobo, he is a former Deputy Minister for Health. He is also uh, on record to have been the youngest uh, board chairman of the Kalibu Teaching Hospital and is also a former um, member of parliament for the Lejokuku constituency in the Greater Accra region. Eduji says he has word and confirmation that he is the incoming CEO for the NHIS. <laughs> Doc himself doesn't know this information. So no, where Eduji got this no, information from, we don't know. And also, he is saying amen, amen. And was he saying amen? He said, Eduji Tamaklo is a member of the NDC's legal and community Communication team, thank you very much, gentlemen, for coming. Uh, three piece suit, four. Okay, so this is a birthday message for uh, J. John Kwekusebefia. So if there's a word that is above the word amazing, then that's exactly what you are. A truly loving husband, a caring dad, uh, a hardworking and God-fearing man. May God grant you peace and long life as you gallantly journey on. Blessed birthday to JJ Segbefia, the founder of CEO and CEO of Brave Hearts Expeditions. I love you plenty. This is from your wife, Nana Ajwa Daku. Uh, happy birthday to you, Sina Blaubi. And also, a happy birthday to Bernice Seiram Siru and ben Bernice uh, Wase of St. Martin's Hospital, Memorial Hospital in Ashaman. God, God bless you. This is from Linda Boat. And also to you, Nana Machiwa of Dansoman Exhibition. If it's your birthday as well, happy birthday. There's more here on New Day. You don't want to move because after sports, we will have that big conversation that you can never miss.